I'm Lynn Bowie and coming up this afternoon on WJZ, Baltimore County Police identify a suspect accused of killing his father. 38-year-old William Leonard Howard Jr. turned himself into police last night. Police say he got into an argument with his 64-year-old father and shot him. He later died at the hospital. This happened yesterday afternoon at a home on Cuba Road in Cockeysville. An investigation underway in Howard County after dozens of flyers filled with hate speech were found in Ellicott City. Our media partner, the Baltimore Sun, reports the flyers were related to the KKK. Police say the flyers did not target any individual or business. They hope doorbell cameras will help them figure out who did this. WJZ will have more on this discovery today. Members of the Baltimore City Council, as well as the Baltimore Fraternal Order of Police, are looking into the background of Joel Fitzgerald, the current police chief of Fort Worth, Texas. Last week, Mayor Catherine Pugh named him to be Baltimore's new top cop, and they want to learn more about him before he is approved. Now let's get an update on your forecast with Meg. Yes, hello there, Lynn. Well, a milder Monday, however, frigid air on the way, so we are really looking at some cold later on in the week. Today, not so much. So a mix of sun and clouds, a high of 55. Tonight, we're going to dip down into the low 40s. And then here's our seven-day forecast. So check out the numbers here. Thanksgiving Day, we're actually talking a high of 33 degrees, dipping down into the teens overnight. We're also going to be looking at strong winds. So we know the wind chills will be even colder than that. Lynn? Thanks, Meg. Check in with WJZ this afternoon for the updated forecast and all of today's developing stories.